Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. While down in the nest, the little birds rest. Oh, that's right. Hit that like button if you know that song. Ha <laughs> ha, 4-H camp, boys and girls. Every morning with body motions. Fergus, can you believe it? Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Friends of the Feather. Today is another exciting fact-finding Friday, and boy, do I feel smart. I feel so much smarter than I did when I woke up this morning because I have been researching eggs. That's right. Fact-finding Friday, and we are talking about eggs, chickens, pecan chickens. Good morning, everyone. So if you don't know who I am or what we're doing here, which I'm not sure about that on most days myself, um, check out the description box below. I've written up a little summary of just exactly what we do here and what the what the what the what the, what the scoop is. So I uh, want to thank all of our 111, but it goes to 11 fiddle. 111 subscribers. Thank you very much. If you haven't done so, please hit that cute little button. It's it's winking at you right now. If you look down there. Oh. We're right here, friend. We're right here. Okay, you don't have to yell. Okay, so anyway. The subscribe button is winking at you. You may miss it. It's quick. Anyway, so um, comment, like, all that, you know. You know the drill, you guys. It's so old at this point, I don't even know why I bother. Anyway, okay. So, fact-finding Friday on eggs. That's right, chickens. Eggs. Your product. We are going to be talking about that. I've got my fact sheet. That's right. Ready to roll. Okay, so I tried... I tried desperately to keep it to five things, but let me tell you, eggs are fascinating. Like I said, I have learned so much. I feel... I feel like an egg scholar right now, okay? I should have a PhD in eggs. That's not even close to true. Okay, so... <clears throat> interesting fact about eggs, number one. The pleats on a chef's hat equal the number of ways you can cook an egg. What? <laughs> Who even thought of that? <clears throat> Excuse me, I'd like to speak with the uh, designer of the chef hat. Yes, I was um, thinking that we could just, uh, how many ways can you cook an egg? How many ways can you cook an egg? Well, yes, I do believe that should be the number of pleats we put in this, uh, this piece of apparel. <laughs> That's so weird. I mean, I guess everything means something, right? I don't know. I think some things mean nothing, but I guess not. Didn't know it was significant. All right. Um... So, you know, comment below if you knew any of this stuff, because I knew none of these. I, I knew zero of these fa fun facts. I saw a lot that I did know, but I tried to pick the ones I didn't know. Well, Felicity, what is going wrong here? Why are we, why would, why do we have the zoomies? Are you wanting some green, green grass of home? There's green, green grass right there, friend. <clears throat> Don't look now, it's right behind you. Okay, anyway, number two. It takes 24 It takes 24 to 26 hours for an egg to develop and it's got a 30 minute cooldown. So 30 minutes after the egg is laid, another one starts to another one starts the process. But <clears throat> which is a wonderful segue into fact number 3, they don't have one egg developing at a time. They have multiple eggs and multiple in different stages of development going on all at one time. So it's like a it's like a little assembly line in there. It's like it's like a little egg assembly line. And they, they just work on them as they go. That's really cool. 30 minute cooldown on your eggs, girls. That's all you get. Okay? You can't hit that button again until you, you gotta wait 30 minutes. <clears throat> Excuse me, man, I'll tell you what, these allergies. Anyway, number four. 
the largest egg ever was laid by a chicken named Harriet, like our poor lost Harriet that we lost so long ago. Remember Harriet? I remember Harriet. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was just a baby chick. Anyway, it was 9.1 inches in diameter, you guys. That's a huge battle. That's a huge egg. That's a giant egg, you guys. It's, it's so big. Okay. And number five. Okay, so for all you muscle heads out there that like to eat raw eggs, this is for you. Okay? I, I see y'all out there. For anybody who thinks that raw eggs are better or have higher protein content than cooked eggs, according to this, you are incorrect. Now, this could be a ploy by Big Egg to get people not to eat raw eggs because of the risk of salmonella contamination, but <clears throat> according to my facts on my fact sheet, which we know don't lie, it says that raw eggs only... This phone and I are going to have words. Wait, we have words every day. Okay, anyway, where was I? Okay, raw eggs only contain 51% protein. Cooked eggs contain 91% protein. 91. So, for all you people out there that enjoy a raw egg, bad news for you. Salmonella and less protein. That's right. You're taking chances and risks that are unnecessary. Okay, I hate raw eggs. Raw eggs gross me out. My God, I can't do it. it I, I swear it's a big balls thing. I just can't do it. I, it's so gross. And just the texture... I, I'll like I don't even think I could no 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 that's not that's not happening <laughs> raw eggs are not happening for me anyway so the bonus facts that we have are, are 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 many because like I said I had no idea that eggs were so cool it's one of the rare foods that contains vitamin D okay vitamin D as we know we've discussed before it's a hormone you absorb it through your skin it's created by sunlight but um, there are some foods that contain vitamin D, and eggs are one of them. So, if you're feeling a little a little low or a little sad, you might want to eat some eggs. Maybe it'll make you feel better. Um, cloudy egg whites mean that the eggs are fresher. Felicity, you're you're stressing me out, man. This running thing is just stressing me out. Um, cloudy egg whites mean fresh eggs. So, if you bust open your egg and it's completely clear, then that egg has been sitting there for a while. If it's cloudy, which I know can freak you out a little bit because I've, I've been a victim of the cloudy egg white, um, then you can, then that means it's actually fresher. So cloudy means good. Okay. We need cloudy day eggs, not sunny day eggs. Okay. Um, Iowa is the number one egg producer in the U.S. with Ohio, our neighbor Ohio, being number two in egg production. I wonder if that has to do with the Amish. But then that would probably mean that Pennsylvania would have a lot of them too. Because there's a lot of Amish in Pennsylvania. Anyway. Um, so there are 97 billion eggs produced per year in the U.S. 97 billion. 97 billion and 10. Coming up real soon. Right girls? Right? We're going to add to that. Right? 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 We're all in agreement. Faddle said she's going to be the first one to produce. I'm ready. Okay, and last. Okay, this one is really gross, and it grossed me out to the point where I was like, I have to share this because <laughs> this is just macabre. <laughs> a little gross, a little nasty, so brace yourself. You know, you might want to hit the 10-second forward button if things gross you out. Okay. Because of the similar protein composition. Okay, you ready? Blood can be substituted for eggs in recipes when you're baking and in ice cream. Oh, no. <laughs> Not blood ice cream. What? What? <laughs> well, okay then. You're low on eggs. It's midnight. Baking cookies. Nothing's open. Just open a vein <laughs> so I can finish this recipe because we're out of eggs. That 
Okay. I just don't even know what to say about that. I just don't even know. Just bizarre. So that ends the <laughs> our wonderful facts on fact finding friday oh man i should have saved that one for halloween or something that's just ew man okay first of all okay that's that's crazy i mean i guess i can kind of see it but ew and then second of all how did we find out <laughs> who found out who said you know what Let's just throw some blood in here instead of these eggs. Oh, come on. I don't. Okay, we need to stop thinking about that now. Because I don't even know why you would know that. How you would know that. I don't even know. Okay, weird. Alright. So, give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed our facts on our Fact Finding Friday. I'm glad to put these two videos together. I'm sure it's been at least ten minutes. Because I tend to ramble a bit. Um... It looks like everyone's a bit calmer this morning. I'm glad. I was really concerned. I uh, I just don't know what to do with these guys. I just don't know what to do. Favorlays, what is going on, friends? Oh, Marie, JG. Poor guys. I know, Fennel, I know. All right, everyone. Happy Friday. Way to kick off a good weekend with some, some egg facts. We'll be back later with some more egg facts. Get in there and lay an egg, would you? Tired of this tomfoolery, all these shenanigans. Go, lay an egg. Anyway, all right, guys. We're going to end. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Have a good one. Bye-bye now.